Hey, all you running fans out there, Jim Lambert, NJ.com, back with you in uh, Studio X here, uh, talking cross country, talking meet of champs. The road to Homedale, stopped at the group meet, one last stop to meet of champs this Saturday, girls race at 11 o'clock. I'm here with the girls cross country expert in New Jersey, Rich Bevensey. Rich, got to start out with the team race. Yeah. Um, it looks on paper like this might be the most wide open team race there's been in years. You know, with all the teams beating each other up over these last few weeks, Lambo. I don't see how it can't be considered a wide open race. And that's what makes it more exciting for us. Mm -hmm. You know, unlike you, where uh, CBA may be the, the hands down favorite, I clearly just don't know who to pick right now. So you're not going to tell anybody right now who you're going to pick, are you? I put it in a piece of paper under your hat. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll get to that. <laughs> um, you know, Saturday, I mean, obviously the big showdown came in group two. Right. Uh, number one, Voorhees, going out there, favored to win, didn't quite go the way. It was mapped out on paper. I mean, uh, at least not for Voorhees. Yeah. I mean, tell us about that race, Rich. I mean, it was the race of the day. Well, you know, number two beat number one. Rumson beat Voorhees. Uh, Voorhees was shooting for a sixth straight state title, which would have extended uh, their streak, uh, which is third best in state history. But Rumson had different plans. The short conference champ had a compression of around 120. Fantastic race from Rachel Chris, their front runner, and the rest of the group. Uh, just a great race. And uh, Rumson wins that race by seven points. Now, Having said that, mm -hmm. I'm not an excuse maker. I'm not an apologist for my friends from Voorhees. They're missing Kristen Erickson, who was their number three slash four runner for the Hunter and Warren and the Skyland Conference meet. She was banged up at the sectional meet. She was her sixth runner there. Mm -hmm. She got sick before the group meet. She didn't run at all. That may have played a factor. That may have played a part in, you know, how fast Voorhees did or I should say did not run. Again, Voorhees' compression was just over two minutes. They've been that's averaging, way, yeah, that's way Jim, off, they've been averaging 120 mm -hmm. all year. Yeah. And they had a 56 second compression at the Skyland Conference. That is what coach Justina Casavell wants from her team each and every week. And she's gonna certainly be looking for that if she's gonna get back at Rumson this coming week. Yeah, I mean, they need to be healthy. I mean, do you feel, <clears throat> Boris, a healthy lineup, they get back on top if they get back to running the way they did prior to uh the groups in sectional? I have to believe that with, and this is very key here, I have to believe with a healthy Kristen Erickson, mm -hmm. they're tough to beat. Yeah. How about that? Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm taking enough. nothing fair away enough. from coaches Tim McLoon and Henry Mercer. They've done a great, I mean, really a superb job with Rumson. Yeah, unbelievable. I, I mean, mean, this is a team that wasn't on the map last year, mm -hmm. and they're, they're gangbusters this year. But I have to believe a healthy, a healthy Voorhees team is going to be tough to beat. Now, I don't want to, mm -hmm. oh, what were you going to say? say? On the flip side of that, Erickson's healthy. She's running back where she should in the Voorhees pack. Right. Can Rumson run better than they did last week and still beat them? That's an, that's an excellent question. I mean, maybe, maybe there's more in Rumson's tank to, to drop some more times. They've been improving week by week. Mm -hmm. And I don't see those girls. I mean, I looked at their times between short conference and the group meet. And all of them PR'd by, say, 20, 30 seconds. So, I mean, it was a fantastic effort. Right. And now that they're peaking, and I know that because uh, McLoon and Mercer haven't overraced these kids, right. I, I certainly think there's more room for improvement. Wow, so that makes for a great showdown. And there's another team there that, you know, that's coming out of Group 4 that obviously um, you, you can't overlook what uh, Rich Reefy has done. Oh, man. Coach Re like uh, Lambeau said, Coach Rich Reefy at Hillsborough never lost faith in his kids. They simply had an off race, Rich said, at the North 2 Group 4 sectional. Yeah, Rich, they, Rich picked them off there, yeah. In which they lost to Ridge. Mm -hmm. You know, Lambeau, the funny thing about that is they just had a bad day, and everybody has a bad day. And maybe some of us in the media, like myself, maybe overlooked them in looking for a Group 4 favorite. Well, not anymore, because Hillsborough must be considered as a media champions contender. Um, they, they ran strong. They had a compression of about 120, just like uh, Rumson did. Mm -hmm. They had the third fastest average from the group meet, about a 1950. Right. So, you know, you have to consider Rich's group. And they had a, a, a girl, really. Thank you. Throw, for, throw down a good time. Thank I you mean, for reminding me. She really me. came up big. Thank you for reminding me. Mallory Drake cut nearly a minute off her time. Wow. <laughs> and she was like, she was the team's second runner that and day. And that's what wins these state titles. When you get a kid who just steps up, cuts the time, and runs the race of their life, state title, that's what you need. You need these kids to run out of their mind. And You, you know, know Lambo uh, and I can look at predictions and compressions and everything else, but we can never predict what kid is hey, going to actually how take, they gonna feel that, that day. big of a step forward. Yep, yep. And so we, that and, was impressive. And another thing tough to predict, Rich, obviously, individual showdown. Oh. Megan Lacey at Cherokee, Dana Giordano, a collision course all year. It's finally going to happen on Saturday. Uh, tell us what you expect to happen in that duel up front. Well, let me tell you. You mentioned Megan Lacey from Cherokee. You mentioned Dana Giordano from Bernard's. You also have to include Holly Bischoff from mm -hmm. Bishop Eustis, Tara Hanley from Chatham, right. Mackenzie Barry 
from Mendham. Ooh, yep. I mean, and that's just five kids. That's a fast pack. And, and Caroline Kellner mm -hmm. from always, West Windsor always, South. Always a factor, yep. Bischoff and Kellner both have 1809s from last year's Meet of Champs. Mm -hmm. Lacey still has that 1755 in her pocket from the Group 4 meet last year. She hasn't washed those pants? Still, it's still in there. It's still in there. Okay. It's right in the All side right. pocket. <laughs> so those are the three fastest kids in the state as, as far as resumes are concerned. Mm -hmm. Now, Megan ran in, in 1827 to win the Group 4 title this year, but she had ice packs stuck to her hips. Not that time of 1755. Yeah, she's been pretty banged up. She suffered a groin injury right after the sectional meet, and although she gutted a, an 1827 out, which is fantastic mm -hmm. with sore legs sure. like that. Yeah, limited training. But, but who knows if she can push the pace even more? I don't know. Dana ran an 1832 uh, to win the Group 2 title for the second year in a row. You know, you got to consider her as being able to push the pace. She surprised us last year at the Meet of Champs, yep. winning that 3200 uh, title. She did. Holly Bischoff, like I said, has an 1809. Caroline Kellner with an 1809 from last year. You have to consider all these kids. Who are you picking? Is that, is that on the right hat? To, is that on <laughs> <laughs> right now, bec only because Megan Lacey's hurt, and she could very well prove me wrong, I feel the strongest runner in the state right now is Bernard Sr., Dana Giordano. Wow, going with Dana. Okay. All so, right. Well, hey, Saturday that's... we'll find out. you got to do it on, on the trails that day. It's going to be hot. Homedale Park, 11 o'clock girls race. Team race wide open. Going to be crazy. Get there. Drop the shovels. And what's our Drop saying? the yard work. Be in Homedale Park for the greatest race of the year. Get your run on! That's Jim Lambert. I'm Rich Bevensey. Thanks for Get watching. Get the run on! <laughs>